Hey guys, I'm Hollow Knight, and welcome back to Sally Face. We're moving on to episode four. If my controller wants to, there we go. Okay. Um. Excuse me, I thought we were on episode four. Hey, okay, here we go. All right, the beginning. Uh, use, we already been through this, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be a hot minute. Okay. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's done. Alright. And here we are. Episode 4. The Trial. So, what's happening? Prosecutor. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Is it, isn't it true you initially started that stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So you admit to lying in your original statement? Yes. I was in shock from what had happened and thought the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I don't know. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we... How are we to decipher what the what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say, whether they believe it or not. Well, I hope for their sake that they do. Is that a threat? No. It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there was still a killer on the loose in Knockfell? That all the evidence... Present, presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts, that all of those things were the same elab were some elaborate cover-up? Created by who? The county police department? Yo, come on, I ain't no murderer. Sal ain't no murderer. If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically in order to prevent details from, be from being taken out of context. Well, more so than they have been. I'll allow it. Please, continue with your testimony, Mr. Fisher, but realize we expect answers to these difficult qu- the, the, uh... But realize we expect answers to these questions of the prosecutor. <laughs> I cannot read. Uh, we expect the answers in questions. These questions the prosecution has presented. Please continue with your te- Uh. But realize we expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. There's a fly around my room and it's making me mad. Holy crap. Hey, beginning of episode four, we're on trial. I'm telling you, dude, something is seriously wrong. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it s since we blasted it years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the Super Gear Boy and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That's a little odd. Though, who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were able to finally pass it on. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like some, like... Something's under my skin, crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some shit. I can feel it. Huh? What? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling, too. Like everything is foggy and there's something there, just beyond the fog. Just waiting. Yes, exactly. Whatever it is, it's coming for us. It's coming for the apartments. <laughs> yes, exactly. Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartments. So are you going to check it out or what? Of course I will. Aww. I'm glad you're still alive, Larry. Should we get Todd? He has class today. Oh, alright. I was hoping to have a he'd have a new gadget or something. He has been working on something, but I don't know if he's finished it yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me any use to it yet, so it's best not to mess with it. These are going by... Uh, no, I'm not clicking. Hopefully it works better than that box thingy he made last year. Yeah, I'd keep, yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. Aw. Aw, 
Larry. Sorry, you all packed up. Almost. I went to get the rest moved over this weekend. It'll be nice to finally get out of that basement. Oh, you're still living in the apartments. Huh. Cool. Todd said, okay. Thanks for... Okay. Okay. You know what? Hold on. Do we have mail? Uh, no, 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 no. I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to see if there's something in the house that I can use. Because if there is, then I want to grab it. Front door. Okay, it's locked. It didn't matter anyway. All right, let's go, Larry. Let's go kill some bitches. Salvation Row knocks... Um, oh, there's a dead raccoon thingy in the middle of the road. Solid. Knockfell Homes. Affordable homes in the beautiful hillside district. Call whatever to view today. Ah, hmm. oh, this game is so pretty. I know I've said that a lot. Uh, can we do anything with the cemetery? No. Can't talk with Larry either. All right. So I, I guess we're just going to be walking. Can I go up to the church? Literally, can I not do anything? Okay. Well, uh, this is fun. Hey, Addison apartment. Literally, it looks a it looks like it's just abandoned. Wow. Looks like you're right about the storm. Hey. All right. Let's do this. Right behind you. All right. Uh, I'm assuming there's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing to the right. Dang. Is it just me or has Larry gotten buffer? I don't I don't I don't know. Aw. Bro, this game is so much fun. What's in 104? Mr. Addison's been storing his stuff in here for so long. I bet he doesn't even remember what's in all these boxes. They're probably filled with stuff from his friend his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. Just the rest is ugh. The rest is like old clothes, old tea sets, cookbooks. Just a bunch of old junk. Larry, what? You snooped through Terrence's things? Well, yeah, dude. How could I not? The guy never leaves his room. Plus, I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved with the cult or hiding bodies in here or anything weird. But it's all just normal, boring old man stuff. Okay, fair enough, I guess. You don't just go snooping through things, Larry. Next time you plan on doing some nosing around, make sure you let me know. <laughs> Will do. Will do, little bud. <laughs> uh, um, anything important? No. Okay. I didn't know if there was something that would be in one of the boxes that I could use. Hey, here we go. Mr. Addison. Well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing on this fine morning? I forgot the voice I gave him, so this is going to be it. We're doing okay. How about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dear Sal Fisher with us. And I'll be sad to see Larry go as well. I'll miss you. I'll miss you here too. But it'll be nice to get out of that basement. Plus, we're only right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and, need and are ready for the next stages in their lives. I'm excited for you both. You know, I wish you boys nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Terrence. Aww. Aww. Addison T, please. Hello again, young sirs. Uh, hey. Okay. Dang, I can't do anything. Aww, that's sad. I can't, I can't get any tea. Dang. Uh, Mrs. Rosenberg's. Did she die yet? Why did they leave all Rosenberg's stuff in here again? Addison still thinks she's on vacation or something and that she'll come back. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Okay, so she did die. Or went on vacation. I'm still not really sure what happened to her. You said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before... I swear I'm going to murder this fly. With everything that I have. Don't touch my tea. It's my tea. Mine. Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she... I don't think she was fully human. Oh, right. I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while, but then stopped them. Or tried to stop them. Which would have made her super old. 
I don't remember what happened. D did we see what happened to her? Or I think she was a witch, demon, and alien. Nah, I'll say a demon because I remember that I used the gear boy on her and she just fully tweaked out. Really? But she looked so human. Maybe it was a spell or some kind of trick. I'm not sure. How else would she have disappeared like she did? If she died, she didn't leave behind a body. I don't... I don't know, dude. But if she was a demon or part demon, then I'm glad she's gone. I don't think she was evil. Just... different. Yeah, she wasn't evil. She... she was a cute little old lady. But now... oh... now I'm sad. <laughs> you can say that again. Uh, and there's nothing else in here. Okay. If this fly keeps bugging me, I uh, get it. Bug fly. Ha! Huh, I'm funny. I'm act. I'm actually gonna. Ugh. Uh, whatever. Is Mrs. Gibson still here? Gross. Yeah. What do you want, Sal? Ugh, why is he here? Hello, Mrs. Gibson. We were. Wow. Rude. Well, that's about par for the course. That lady sure can hold a grudge. I don't even know what I did. I don't remember what Larry did either, if it was told to us. We'll go to floor two. We'll... S oh, wait, no. I was about to say, we'll see how Todd's doing. No. Um, Packerton's old place. Oh, yeah. Man, it still reeks in here. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, wait, do I have... I don't have it on me. Okay. Uh, No new messages. Okay. Uh, I thought I had the gear boy on me, so I thought I could, uh... Uh... Oh, God, I can't. <laughs> There's still a... Come on! Nobody ever cleans these places. Do they? Getting any readings on this gear... On the gear boy? Oh, he has it! Oh, okay. Nope. Not even your little ghost buddy's hiding. <gasps> Let's see if, uh... Uh, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Is here. Um, um, I don't remember her name. Heck. Uh, she had the necklace thingy. The cross necklace. Uh, oh, I'm like, oh, I see you. Huh? There's a tear in the carpet. I can't pull up my hand, though. I'm gonna have to grab something and do it. Life support. I wonder what they did with Mr. Packerton's body. Well, at least he wasn't s served as a lunch meat. Yeah, hopefully not. I wonder if they still have every... Nope, they took everything down. Well, well... Everything. I should have known these guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. I don't know how they cleared this place over, out overnight with just, the t with just two of them. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops when Mrs. Sanderson died, too. I saw them leaving in the morning. I saw them, too, remember? Yeah. Maybe that's why they came here overnight. Because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. And Todd still hasn't been able to figure out the true identities, huh? Fly, can you leave me alone for, like, an hour? That's all I need, just an hour. No, but I could have sworn I saw one of them go into church a few days, weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye out every day now. They've been having a lot of meetings over there. That's like a normal church thing to, though. Meetings and whatnot. Could be nothing. Or it could be something. That church did always give me the creeps. Went up to Chapel Hill a few times for the holidays when I was younger. I've been talking to Todd about setting up some kind of hidden cameras and audio recordings up there, just to check it out. Cool. I'm down some for good old B&E. <laughs> B&E? Breaking and entering. Come on, dude. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that would be a fun. You know, just break a few windows, pop a few caps. It'll be fine. Alright, um, that's Packerton's done uh let's go see how todd's parents are doing hello janice sally face and larry bear this is a pleasant surprise hi janice hey 
what brings you two here? Just saying hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Hi. Okay, uh. <laughs> oh, what? I can't talk to her again? That's lame. Aw, oh, dang. Can't rip out of the hookah. <laughs> uh, did those boys just go into the bathroom together? <laughs> Greg? Are you here? Hello? I'm not getting anything. Oh, uh, that, that was me. Sorry. I'm not getting anything on the Super Gear Boy either. Oh, Greg. Maybe he's better. What did I just pick up? Huh? What is it? It's a tooth. Gross, dude. You picked it up with your bare hands? I'm not just gonna leave it here. What if we need it for something? What we <laughs> What could we possibly need it someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally Face, and this is my friend Larry. We re we research paranormal and ocular activity in the town of Knockfeld, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. It's all burned up. How can there be a burned up t I'm not gonna ask. I'm just here to grab things and leave. Okay, nothing I can do here. Um, let us see. Todd's parents' room, it's locked, solid. Todd's bedroom. Solid! Okay, hey, Ray. Hey guys. Uh, I need I need I need different voices for guys, honestly. Hey guys. Larry, what you bet uh I don't know any voices. Uh Hey guys. Larry, are you back for more already? Nah, I'm cool, Ray, thanks. Hello, hey Mr. Morrison. Sal, have you seen the garden yet? What do you think? It's a bit much. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Isn't it, though? It's a thing of true beauty. How did you get all this stuff anyway? Well, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but really, this isn't exactly legal, per se. So I'd appreciate you guys keeping this our little secret. And, of course, I'd be happy to supply you some products whenever you like. Oh, that's funny. Your secret is safe with us. You don't gotta worry about that. You don't gotta. You don't have to. I don't think so, but you can never be too safe. I know, Todd isn't super fond of the fact we turned his whole bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. He always knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. Aw. He's lucky to have such loving parents. And such good friends. I'm damn proud of you, out, out of all of you boys. Damn proud. Aw, Ray. Aw. You're amazing. Well, uh, I'll, I'll just leave you guys to that while I go explore a bit more. Solid. And I just hit my microphone. That's great. Uh, 203. I do not remember 203 at all. And I think I know. Oh, hey. A pocket knife. Score. Oh, my nose itches. My Why isn't my nose always itches when I record? Heck. <laughs> nice. That can come in handy. Okay, now I have a pocket knife. Okay. Um. Is there a bathroom and bedrooms in this apartment? No, there's not. It's literally just... My nose itches. Oh my gosh. Charlie's old place. Hmm. Did you see on the news? They said that... They said Charlie was going to be released. I did. But that's not the real Charlie. Where do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely, the cult probably has him or killed him. Maybe he ended up in the baloney. Ugh. As much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into baloney. Charlie was a little strange. But he was a good guy. He was starting... I was starting to like him before we thought he was a murderer. Man, what kind of screw... We kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't our fault. We couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. I still have nightmares about that. Okay, what I don't get. There was blood on the pony. There was no... There was uh, no blood in the... Sh like, uh, on, on the desk or whatever. 
there was no blood covering uh, uh, covering where the pony was, and there is an eyewitness. I get it, uh, fingerprints aren't there and all of that, but come on! I say that's enough evidence to warrant somebody being guilty. I might be wrong. Don't hold me to it. Uh, we're on floor two. We'll go to floor three. We'll have some tea. Ah, tea. Uh, CJ's place. Hey, CJ. Yo, what's up, guys? Yo. Hey, CJ. Are you having a party tonight or something? Nah, but Z and Syria and Syria, Sierra, holy crap, I can't read. Are coming back over later. Gonna have, gonna be like old times. You two should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool. All right, bye, CJ. I guess there's nothing going on anywhere. Hey, David. Hey, Shao. Hey, Larry. Was why ya what are you isn't up to? Hey, David. We're just checking in with everybody. How are things going? That's awful kind of use. I'm, but I'm afraid I can't talk much at the moment. Sarah's feeling well, you see. Isn't feeling well, you see. So I gotta take care of her. Sorry to hear that. Hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thank yous. That's the end. Thank yous both. Ugh. Oh, I... Oh, oh, thank you. That's it for... Oh! Aw, oh, they got together. And they have a little kid. Oh, that's adorable. Hey, guys. Hey, Sal. Uh, hey, Larry. Sowie face. Oh, oh, little soda. Hey, soda. How's my best baby doing? <laughs> Want to go for a ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders? Oh, Sal, she has a bit of a rash right now. You might not want to pick her up. Thanks for the heads up. Mommy. Yes, love? I want to wait on Uncle Sowie's sodas. Not today, Muffin, okay? Remember what I said this morning? Oh, okay. Oh, she's so adorable. Aw, oh, don't worry, Lil So. If I, if I, if you take the medicine you got from the doctor this morning, you'll be flying around in no time. <laughs> promise? I promise. You bet. <laughs> oh, so does adorable. Oh, Chug and Maple. Okay. Hey guys. Yo. You two. Uh. Uh. Pfft. You two look like you're up to no good. As you, I forgot the voice I gave him, so I'm just gonna do this. Glad to see something stayed the same. Ooh, are you guys working? Another one out of your. Eh. Are you guys working another one of your secret cases? It wouldn't be a secret if we told you, now would it? I suppose not. How's Soda doing? She's got a little rash going up right now. Luckily we caught it early. No big deal though. Gotta rub some ointment on her twice a day. The doctor said it should clear up within a two or three days. We've been having to wash our hands a lot because the apartment is very contagious. I think I got a little on my arm. It's mad itchy. Chug, I told you not to roll around with her. I know, but she's so cute. I couldn't help it, and I couldn't didn't read the rest of it. Aw, babe. Uh, how are you two? We're good. You know, ups and downs. Mostly good, though. Yeah, how have you two- how have you been, Sal? Haven't seen you around in a little while. I've been okay. Keeping busy with school and whatnot. So, Chug, I heard your parents moved out? They left a few months ago. Too crowded in here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us privacy. It's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. That reminds me. I'm supposed to go visit my parents tonight. Are you okay to watch Soda while I'm gone, babe? Of course. Aw. Aw, they're great parents. Aw. Aw. <laughs> Aw. Nope. It's been a night. Oh, I even forgot what I said. Oh, I think I said... Uh, I don't know. Nope. It's been nice and ghost-free. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. All right. See ya. Aw. Soda is so cute. 
even though she ripped off the head of a Barbie doll. You know, I'm just going to ignore that. Let's go. <laughs> and time for 304. Ah. It's spooky and green in here. Is there a window? <gasps> There's actually windows. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Ooh, there's a thing. Another tooth? Yeah, maybe it's a clue or something. Uh, S. Oh, hold up. Three of five, four of five. Okay. A tooth I found on the third floor. It has S carved into it. Hmm. Hmm. What's going on with all of that? I'm just gonna see if there are any more around, I guess. And don't say I have to go to literally every room on every floor just to find, what, three more teeth? Yeah, three more teeth. Because I really don't want to do that. Robert's place. <gasps> oh, yeah, Robert. Hello, Robert. Hey, hey, there's my ghost, Nabbas. Hey, dude. Hey, Rob. How's, how's goes the hunting? That's top secret. <laughs> Sally, my man, I'm an investor. You can't share even a little detail with me. Actually, we're looking into something right now. That's why we're here. Have you seen anything strange lately? Anything at all? Hmm. Well, I got this weird rash on my left foot. You guys could take a whiff and let me know what you... Uh, I don't think we're really qualified for that. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. My feet are fine. So, they're fine. If they're so fine, why don't you marry them? <laughs> Larry, you fucking nutter. Aw, oh, that's... Aw, oh, aw, oh, that's it. Okay. Bye, Robert. Alright. Down in the... <gasps> Wait! Oh. Oh. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hey, guys. Hi, fellas. So, hey, when's the last time that you had the entire family together like this? Um, like a couple weeks ago? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sal. We should have a dinner t together tonight. Come on, what do you say, boys? Lisa is going to show me the top secret to her make to making her lasagna. Mmm, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Lasagna is good, if made right. Aw, thank you, sweetie. I'm going to have to say no to free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight, but if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Larry instant message. We'll have Larry instant message you. Oh, oh, I can't say no. Sorry, I thought it said I can. Okay, no, never mind. Oh, they did get married. Oh, there's a uh, the the picture. Oh, this is so adorable. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have Larry instant message you or whatever you kids do once dinner's ready. It's called texting, Dad. Right, right. That sounds good. Aww. Uh, okay, can't take anything there. Is there a tooth in here? No. Okay. Aw, that's adorable. Everybody's getting together, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, you never know. There might be a tooth in my room or whatever. Dad's office. Oh, did he change... Oh, he did. Okay, he made my room into his office and now has his own bedroom. Dad and Lisa's room. Uh, anything in here? Nope. Okay. So, let us... Take a nice little sip of our coffee and head on. Uh, I went from left to right. Okay. 403. This was where Mrs. Sanderson lived. Oh, hi. Hey, Mr. Sanderson. Oh, sorry. We didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hi, Larry. I was just going to say goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Knockville tonight. I just... I needed to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you... This may sound odd, but have either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if... I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her one more time. Uh, we have seen her. Oh dear, that's what I was... I was afraid of this. How was my angel doing? 
I haven't been able to contact her at all. She misses you a lot. She's lonely here, but we haven't seen her for a little while. My poor Sandy. She didn't deserve this. What is it that you were afraid of? Huh? You said I was afraid of this. Of what exactly? Uh, never mind. I'm just upset, that's all. Would you boys do me a favor and give me a moment here alone, please? Don't do anything, please. We don't need another one dead in the apartment. Sure, Mr. Sanderson, that's no problem. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. Oh. Catching up. Okay, so... I just got an achievement called Catching Up. Uh, what's this? Excuse me? The surveillance. There's a tape here, but it's broken. Uh, oh. Okay. Stop! Thank you. Alright, so nothing. Alright. Um. Can I go back in here? We should let Herman be alone. The poor kid. Oh. Do you think the council will let him leave Knockfell? I hope so, man. Hasn't P been thrown off? Yeah, but what if he... Yeah, but if he was involved with the cult before his wife died and then tried to get him out, like we all think he did, I'm sure they're keeping an eye on him. You're probably right. But they've been quiet for so long now. Maybe they aren't operating anymore, or whatever. Or maybe they've been li just been lying low, waiting for the right moment. Maybe. Either way, we'll find them out. Well, that, 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 I could not read that fast because I'm dumb. Uh, all right. Floor five. Again, from left to right because I like doing it that way. <laughs> Holy shit, Pickles. It's you again. You made a mistake. What the hell, man? The end will be us all. What does that even mean? You can't be staying here, dude. You can't be staying in here, rather. The darkness binds. Okay, bye, I guess. Dude, scared the shit out of me. I've caught that bum sleeping here before, too. I wonder what he meant. It just sounds like cra crazy get gibberish to me, man. I don't know why I was trying to say garbalish. I'm dumb. Oh, there's another tooth. The tooth will set you free. Dude. No. SW505. Wait, is there one on each floor? I don't know. I know I got this in the fifth and that in the fourth. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Maybe. We'll just keep exploring and if I don't find it, I guess I can cut two things. Huh. What? Looks like there's a hidden panel on the bottom of this bird cage. I've never noticed it before. That's weird. There's a loose screw. Almost like someone had tried to open it. Huh. Okay. Hmm. I'll need a screwdriver to open this. Um. That's interesting. So, I guess I need to go to the basement. See what I can grab there? See if there's anything. But, for, uh, we'll finish out this floor. Ah! And see what's happening. Hey, there's a thing. Uh, oh, it's a tape. Um, hunger. Oh, hi! Hunger has been tearing my, my stomach, and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this fucking prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing. Nothing. Just glimpses of my life beyond. I wish that they would open that goddamn vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish it would all end. I need to end this. Okay. And, okay. Okay. Is there... <laughs> I get it. Uh, it says Sonny instead of Sony. I get the joke. Are there just tapes hidden around that I need to get? Are they important to the story or what? Because if they're not, I'm probably not going to look for them. T. 
he is great. Bedroom. Did you remove these? Yeah, I did it. Th I did that this morning when I was looking around. Okay, let's double check in here. Maybe there's another tooth. Maybe there's a few more teeth. Stacy, are you there? Nothing on the gear, boy. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. I hope she's at least with Megan. Megan! That's her name. Yeah. Is there a tooth around here? Oh, the hole! Okay, um... No, I didn't want to go through it again. Whatever. You know what? Since we're already here, I don't think there's anything beyond. A noose? Um, sorry, I have to look on my other screen because my main one is too dark. So much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. And as much as I wanted to hate Luke for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on himself by helping the council summon the demon. It just sucks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up with it. Do you think it's really dead? Do you think it's really dead? The Red-Eyed Demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seems a little too easy, didn't it? I know what you mean. I've thought about the same thing before, but we haven't seen any sign of him for years now. Um, in this point, yes. But at the end of last episode, we saw Todd with red eyes. So... I'm going to assume? What if, like, we only wandered, wounded it, and it's just waiting in the dark till un somewhere until it gets better? Then we blast it back to hell again when it shows up. All right. Uh, I'm just glad that there wasn't a body on that news. All right. Uh, I don't think there was anything here. And I still only have three teeth. Oh, it's hard not to make a joke. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to think about what... Who is Megan? Megan? Hello? Are you with us? Nothing on the super gear boy. Hey, where did her necklace go? Huh, I didn't notice it was gone before. That's weird. Maybe that's why she's not coming out. What about the rest of them? I don't know. Aw, somebody took the necklace. Come on, that's not that's not nice. You know you know not to steal things, that's mean. Alright, time to go to the basement, see if there's any <coughs> tasty thing that's there. Oh heck. Oh, I think I have the hiccups. No. No. I refuse. Let's go into your room. Uh, house. It's weird to be leaving that, leaving after all, living here for so long. I felt that same way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change I didn't know that I needed at the time. So I'm, I'm glad it worked out in the way it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. I can't wait for that, honestly. Still, and I, still, and I don't, and I know I'm not gonna be far, but is it a little? But is it still a little sad for some reason? What? But it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. And it's okay to feel emotional about it. You okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's just keep looking around. Aw, Larry. Anything in the chest? No. Let's explore this way first. And then methodically go from left to right. Because apparently I always have to do that. Because going right to left is dumb. Nothing. What's in Larry's room? His art stuff, some bags. Uh, do you remember the first time I, sh I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were head banging, banging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. <laughs> I don't remember that. You were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice it at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but... But then once I told you I was fine, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. Oh, 
Ah, oh, this is so adorable and emotional. Go outside. Let's see if there's anything here. Aw. Ah, oh, this game is so pretty. The music in this game is amazing as well. It's just a well-made game. <laughs> I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. I, uh, I don't... I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're hor horrible about keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? I'll tell... I'm telling the truth. Look, it's been hard keeping this from you, but I couldn't be sure what I w what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure if it's real, really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not to tell anybody any, not to tell you about him. He said that if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. If it's your father, then I... Well, I don't think that he's 100% human. But the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult, to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What, what do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad was an alien or something. He crash-landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. He was still with his sis he was with his sister, Evelyn, but she died in the crash or got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened to her. I don't remember this. Is he the guy in in, in the white room? Are you gonna say anything about all of this? You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad to make my dad into a hero. And aliens really Dude, that didn't help your case, your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry, I swear. All right, dude, it's fine. Can we just drop this for now? Oh, Larry. Okay, but we are going to talk about this more later. I'm not making this up. Oh, Larry. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh, the story's, th this title is just going to be, this entire video, rather, it's just going to be me saying, aww. <laughs> Wait, is there something? No, okay. I thought something was written on the tree. Tasty. What is wrong with me? Uh, stereo. Living room. Okay, uh, Larry's room, Lisa's old room. Anything in here worth taking? No. Okay. I guess? Oh, wait, I still have the, uh, like a lost and found and crap to look at. Elevator. Door. And, okay, anything in here? Okay. Oh, I thought, I thought that was a cutscene. I, I was holding right, um... There's some green splooge coming out of the uh, sink over there. That's always fun. Uh, bedroom two, since we're here, I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one that... Shit, I must have dropped the keys somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remember having it? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll show up somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure. Um... I'm literally just looking around for teeth at this. Hey, what did I say? You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth. Larry, just stop. N. Okay, I found a tooth in the basement. It has N carved on it. What's the fifth one? One? Yeah, I'm just missing two. So I'm a... I don't know where it would be at. Huh. We'll look around for one again, I guess. 
Rosenberg's, Mrs. Gibson's just gonna be a bitch. Um, hey, I didn't look far to the right. What? No shitty pun this time? I couldn't really think of anything, to tell you the tooth. You know what? No, no, I'm not getting mad. I'm not getting mad. Eh, what do I need to do? No, oh, two to five. Okay, so I have S W N E and a burnt knife. Not bur a burnt knife. I was thinking a pocket knife. A burnt tooth, rather. So what do I need to do? Search the apartments. Um. Okay. Search for what? Do I have to search for the key? So I'd assume that it would be in a Larry's room. You know what? I think I'm gonna cut ahead to until I find what I need to do. So uh, we'll be right back. <gasps> oh, I forgot about this thing. Hey, I completely forgot about this thing. What's this? No, no, no. Dang it. Hold on. Let's try three, one, four, one. Nope. Okay. There's a thing and I don't know what the code is. Can I somehow get the burn off of this tooth? Maybe it's one, four, one, three. Three, one, four, one. No, shoot. Three, one, four, one, five. Nine, eight, two. Dang, okay. I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, there has to be a code somewhere around here. Because it's not 3141. It's not 1413. There has to be a code in, like, not hidden. I don't understand. <gasps> I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Uh, we need to go to floor five, I believe. Uh, wrong way. So, because the, the birdcage had a thing, right? Or am I just being dumb and I can't use a pocket knife on it? Now, the question is, what uh, room was it in? Not this room. What about this room? Hey, there we go. Old bird cage. I need to find a screwdriver to open this. Why not just use a pocket knife? Oh. Oh, there we go. And... Oh. Okay. Hold up. Okay, I think I get it. Um, hold on. Does the blood indicate, I'm assume, north, south, never eat soggy waffles, and then the burnt goes in the middle? <gasps> it did a thing! Um, whoa. I think I found the key you lost. I didn't lose it, I just, wait, where the hell did that even come from? I didn't put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. They couldn't have just, like, slipped under my door and put it under my- put it in my mailbox or- Oh, they couldn't have just. Reality is a tangled web. Uh, what? Never mind. We got the key for now. Let's go check out that temple! Awesome! I still don't know what the, uh, code is, but we can figure that out later. Solid! Awesome! I honestly just completely forgot about the um, thing until I did the uh, carpet, but it is in bedroom two, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay. 
Let's go back to the hellscape. Because that was successful the first time. Oh, heck. Whatever. We're good. Two hours later. Okay, now what? Oh, hey, we're back here. Everything seems normal here, Larry. Well, normal for Addison Apartments, at least. What about all those teeth and the glowing birdcage and the key? I guess that was a little odd. This feeling won't go away either. Something bad is coming, dude. I don't know what or when, but I can feel it. Maybe you may be right. I feel I'll feel Todd in when he I'll feel Todd in when he's home and we can come over later tonight with his gadgets. Okay. When he when is he out of class? He should be out by now, but I'm supposed to meet up with Ash, remember? Oh yeah, Ash. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh right. You should bring her along. I think we should go easy on her for now with the paranormal stuff. That's true. Last time she tagged along, things didn't go too well. Man, that was like last year ago now. That was like a year ago now, rather. Seems like every year just goes by faster and faster. They definitely do. Also, don't forget, we're all getting together for dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> How could I forget? Between you and Ash, I've got, I've got about a thousand texts about it. Aw. So there is nothing in the cult chambers. Hey! Hey, Ash! Whose bike is that? Oh, is that Ash's bike? Bro, that's cool. Hey, Ash. Sal! I'm so excited to see you. I missed you so much. I uh, missed you too, Ash. Aww. You cut your hair. I like it. Thanks. It's easier for riding. It is. Oh, I love bikes. I love bikes. Thanks. It's easier for riding. As I see you've changed your hair as well. Oh, yeah, I guess. Looks rad. I Though I do kind of miss the pigtails. <laughs> Aw. Woo! Let's go! Ah, oh, I, I want to get a bike. I want to get a bike. <gasps> you can kind of see my face. Through, from, through the mask. Through the helmet, rather. Because I had to take off the mask, rather. I haven't been out to the lake since the last time we went there together. What's that? I said, it's been a long time since I've been to the lake. Me too. It's so nice out there. Peaceful. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, you cannot have conversations on bikes. Not easily, though. Anyway. So, you and Ben all good now? Yeah, we're good. What was, what was that all about anyway? Stupid sibling stuff. He called me soulless because I didn't cry at Grandma's funeral. He said I wasn't human because I never cry and blah, blah, blah. Then it turned into a big argument, as if I wasn't sad enough about Grandma. Anyway, the point is that we made up and now we're all good, and I'm actually going to kill every single fly in this world. Because they don't matter. Get away! <laughs> I hate this fly! You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, I must be some kind of soulless monster. Grr, arr. You better watch out. We kill monsters like you around these parts. No, you better watch out. There ain't no monster y'all wanna... This ain't no monster y'all wanna be messing with. Them is fighting words, missy. I hope you kiss... I hope you kissed your mama goodbye this morning. <laughs> How have you been, Sally Face? I've been having nightmares, as usual. I'm sorry. As, are they as bad as before? They're different. It's hard to explain. I've been losing a lot of sleep because of it. Are you worried about anything? Are you worried about anything? Sometimes if, I, if I'm worried about something or I'm or just struggling with something different, I'll get nightmares from that. I've had this overwhelming sense of dread lately. It doesn't make any sense because everything is fine. Everything should be good. Have you been taking those meds? Uh, yeah. Well, most of the time. You should take them if they help. Yeah, you should take them if they help. I have a cousin that struggles with depression, too. And she says the meds she takes help her a lot. I guess they help. I guess they do help. But they also make me feel numb inside. At least with the dread, I know it's real. Or at least, really, me. I think, I think I can understand that. I just want you to be happy, Sal. You make sure you call me if you ever need anything, or even if you just need to talk. You know I'm always here for you, right? I know. 
Thanks, Ash. Aww. Literally, my whole commentary this game, this video has just been, aww. <laughs> anyway, I've said this before, but you know you don't have to wear that around me, right? My face? Your mask. But it's like a part of me now. It's the face I wear in public, the face I wear all the time. And I just want you to know that you don't have to wear it if you don't want to. It's just, it's just you and me out here. No one else is around. Aww. Are you really back for good? Yeah, you got a problem with that, bucko? I don't know. It's just kind of nice with, with just the boys. Adding a girl to the mix sort of throws a whole thing off. <laughs> well, you better get used to it because now you're stuck with me. <laughs> I miss you, Ash. We all have. It's nice to have you back. Good to be back. I miss you guys a lot. I'm excited to see everyone tomorrow. What about art school? Where are you gonna? S what about art school? I think I'm just gonna take. S I think I'm gonna take some time off from school. I'm feeling pretty burnt out. Do you think he'll go back? Probably. I just need some. I just need to figure out some some things about some things out first. Sorry. I might take a few classes at the community college while I'm getting my shit together. Oh, that'd be cool. He was also thinking about going. He mentioned that, and I was surprised. I didn't think he, he'd he go the college route. Me neither. It could be like old times again. The whole crew is back in school. <laughs> are you happy? Is anyone really... Ha are you happy? Happy with what? Everything. Life? I don't know. That's a hard... Qu it is a hard question. <laughs> you can't just say, hey, are you happy with life? Because there's a lot around that can make it unhappy. But you just got to push through it. Ha have a bit of tea. That's the tea, sis. Even though I've had a hard time lately, I try to figure, find things out that make me happy. Things that are worth pursuing. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah. I'm happy right now. Are you sure you're okay, Sal? I'm getting a little, little worry about you. I don't know. I guess I am feeling off. It just feels like everything is wrong. What do you mean? It feels like nothing puts me at ease. It's this constant feeling of discomfort, like my soul isn't aligned with my body. I just feel like screaming at the sky until it breaks apart. Oh. Well? Well, what? Let's do it. I don't know. Come on, I bet you'll feel better. Oh. Oh. Aw. That I'm not gonna lie, that, that kinda got me. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Todd. Hey Todd. Hey. You back from your date with Ashley already? I don't think it was a date, but yeah. Whatever you say, Sal. How how did it go? It was nice seeing her. It's gonna be good to have her back. Indeed. Ashley is a good egg and has invest our investigations eh, and our investigations could benefit from the female perspective. Additionally, simply having fresh eyes on her research could prove could prove useful. Yeah, it really does. Having a new eyes on new eye on things can really new perspective can help improve and change a lot, but usually it's for the better. Speaking of, Larry and I think that there's something weird going on in the apartments again. I told him that I'd bring you over tonight to check it out. Perfect. This will give me an opportunity to, opportunity to test the new thing I've been working on. Give me a few minutes to get ready. Sure. Let me know when you're ready to head over. Will do. Awesome. Yeah. Bzz, bzz. Larry. Zell. I'm sorry, dude. Please don't blame yourself. Sorry for what? What are you talking about? It's time for me to go. You better not. Larry? It's too late. I'll be gone soon. Stop messing around, Larry. This isn't funny. Hey. Larry? Larry? Pick up. Pick up the phone, Larry. You better pick up. Larry? Oh, 
God, Larry. Larry? Um, okay. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Larry, where are you? Come on. No. Come on, please. This better not be some real tea, sis. <sighs> okay, this fly. And click. Ah, stop. Go inside the apartment. Holy crap. Larry? Larry. Uh, let's go to his room immediately. Because... Where the hell are you? Uh, he's not in here. I guess we can check the treehouse. There was a note. No. Um, excuse me? No. Larry, what did you do? Larry, why? I don't know how to even react or what to say. Well, I uh, guess we'll just continue with the story. I was so excited to see Sal. I didn't realize how different he was acting at first. When we were hanging out by the by Wendigo Lake, I started to notice it more. At the time, though, he just seemed sad to me. I thought maybe he had stopped taking his medications. Mrs. Campo. No, Miss Campo, rather. At any point during your date with Sal, did you ever feel as if you were in danger or threatened at all? No, sir. It was nothing like that. Sal was one of the sweetest boys I knew. I... <clears throat> uh... I always felt safe being around him, until later that night. Oh. Can you please explain you, what you witnessed at the treehouse? It wasn't long after I had gotten home from the lake that Sal called me, maybe an hour or so. He was clearly shaken up, and I could tell from his voice that he had been crying. He had told me that Larry was dead. I begged him to call 911. I told him that if he didn't, then I would. Um, and did either of you call 911? No. The boys had me convinced since high school that there was a conspiracy in Mo Knockfell involving the police. That they couldn't be trusted. So I went against my better judgment and didn't call. I rode over to the apartment straight away. When I got to the treehouse, Sal was acting weird. Talking to himself and pacing back and forth. Obviously he was upset. We both were. But I had never seen him like that before. I tried to get him to calm down, but he kept rambling about cultists and some impending evil. He said Larry was in the treehouse. It took me a minute. I took a minute to gather my nerves. I wasn't sure what I was, where, what was going on. If Larry really was, if Larry was really dead or if Sal had lost it. I went up to the treehouse, but nothing out of place was there except for an empty bottle of booze. Have you ever known Sal to be a drinker? Not at all. Sal hardly ever touches the stuff. Touched the stuff. He once told me he was afraid to get drunk because addiction r runs in his family. Yeah, it does. No! No! Did my phone die? Ah, oh, shoot. Well, um, I guess we can go get, try and get to a stopping point. But, uh, yeah. Uh, camera's off. Sorry about that, guys. And, uh, yeah. And he didn't want Larry to become an alcoholic. So I knew something was really wrong. Larry wasn't anywhere to be seen. 
and Sal was, star was starting to really worry me. I tried to calm him down and reason with him, but he was not res but he was not respect <laughs> receptive to it. Wow, I literally cannot read anything. I tried to get him inside, but he wouldn't budge. We got into an argument, and it was the only time we have it was the only time we have ever argued. I had to walk away from him. I couldn't be around him like that, and I didn't want to make him any worse. Before I left, I let Henry and Lisa know that Sal needed help. They said they looked after him, that they'd look after him, and I told them to call me if they needed anything. I felt horrible leaving Sal like that. I just didn't know what to do. I wish I could have stayed there. I wish I, sh I should have stayed with him. Dang. I sat by my phone all night until I got a second call. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to call it there. Uh, sorry that my camera died out of all that. Uh, it, it, crap happens, I guess. But uh, yeah, Larry died. I really don't know what to think about that. But that's gonna do it for this video guys um this game is really intriguing and interesting and fun and i love it to bits and pieces and uh, yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed if you did hit that like button down below if you're at all new to my channel hit that subscribe button but i'm Hollow Knight, and i'll see you guys in the next video bye